What's up everybody, it's Critical. About two months ago I mentioned in a video that I had OCD when I was growing up and throughout my teenage years, most of my teenage years, and since then I've been getting a lot of emails and questions in general about how I was able to get rid of it or at least keep it under control. So I wanted to talk about that. So this is for anyone out there that has obsessive compulsive disorder and I hope I can help you out a little bit. So my universe got ass blasted when I was around 12 years old. I started having these routines that I needed to follow or else I just didn't feel right. And then eventually these routines evolved into these rituals that I absolutely had to follow and could not break. And they were very weird rituals. I mentioned one of them in that video two months ago, but there was at least a hundred different rituals. I had to sleep in a certain position on my bed. I couldn't even go to sleep unless I put on the movie National Treasure every fucking night. So I had that movie run every night for two years and I'd just fall asleep during it. And God forbid if that CD ever got scratched, I just wasn't sleeping that night. I also had to make certain facial expressions when I was watching porn. This isn't a joke. And I, it had to be the same porn video. I watched the same porn video for I don't know how many fucking years. And I had these set times in that porn video where I had to make a certain expression or else I just couldn't jerk off. I'd have to take a five minute break and just let myself recuperate before I could go back at it. It was a horrible time really. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of laughing at it now, but then it was horrible and I was miserable. At first I thought it was normal behavior, I thought to myself, well, I'm sure every young man out there is making fucking Regis Philbin facial expressions like he's on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire every time they're trying to choke the chicken, so I didn't think anything of it. But after a while I started to think, you know, this really can't be normal, I don't want to live in a world where there's a bunch of people doing these stupid rituals that I'm doing. So I googled it and narrowed it down to two possible ailments, the first being obsessive compulsive disorder, and the second a faulty wireless router. I thought I could confidently scratch off the ladder, so I was left with OCD. Then I had this debate with myself if I should go see a professional about it, a therapist, because I was almost 100% sure it was OCD. All the pieces just fell into place like a jigsaw puzzle of anus. But then I thought, you know, they're probably going to prescribe me medication, and I didn't have a lot of faith in the medic medication a therapist would have prescribed me because I thought, one, the medication would either perpetuate the illness further and I would have to keep going back to them to get more drugs that would cost my family a lot of money and it wouldn't even solve the problem and I definitely didn't want to do that. Or two, it would make it worse because I had read that shit sometimes makes it worse and I definitely didn't want to take that chance. I don't even know how it could have gotten worse. I guess I would have just had to follow like a specific set of steps every single day and never deviate from these specific walking patterns. I have no idea how it could have fucking gotten worse but I didn't want to take either of those chances. So I thought it would be best for everyone if I just tried to figure it out by myself. Now, I was really good at hiding it. None of my friends knew I had OCD. No one knew I had OCD outside of my family. And even my family really didn't know the extent of it. They only knew some very small bits and pieces of it. And I feel like a lot of people with OCD are really good at hiding it. So you would never know if somebody actually has it. And that means that they don't ask for help. And I didn't either. But looking back on it, it really probably would have been beneficial if I involved some people in helping me get over this. But I didn't, and I eventually did figure out a plan that got it under control and pretty much got rid of it. So, I looked at it in a big scale. I knew I was in control of my actions. I knew I was the one doing these rituals. I was making this conscious decision to do these things, and I was in control of that. Nobody else. So, I knew I couldn't just break these rituals, get rid of them all at once. I had to go in small steps in order to do this. So... I started to break them down into smaller rituals. I started to break them down piece by piece, making them just a tiny bit shorter than they were or eliminating some very tiny things. And the first one I really targeted was one I had with eating. I had to eat a meal at an exact time every day. I had to eat each meal at an exact time and you started to make bargains with myself. I would eat this meal a little bit sooner or this meal a little bit later. And that was the first thing I really went after because that was something very small that I could control every time. So I started to change the meal times up, and once I started to get those more flexible, I was eating meals 30 minutes sooner or whenever I felt like, then I started to go for the bigger ones and make those a little bit shorter. Instead of sleeping in a specific sp position on my bed, I would move over a little bit, or I would do this, or I would do that. Stuff like that. The National Treasure one, I had already gotten over because the DVD, the DVD actually did break, thankfully. So after two years of being hostage to Nicolas Cage's acting in that movie, despite it being a pretty decent movie, I was finally free of that one. So that was before really I knew I had OCD. But with the sleeping habits, I managed to just convince myself to sleep in different positions, different sides of the bed. And I just started making these little, little changes to my rituals. And eventually I made the changes bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually I could convince myself to just not do the ritual at all. The ritual is so short and consisted of so little things, what's the point in even doing the ritual? And I was able to do that. I was able to just not do the rituals and now I don't do any of it anymore. 
Now there are still a few remnants of my OCD that I just cannot seem to get rid of. For instance, my YouTube profile picture has been the same negative 50p image for the last seven years, and I just cannot, no matter what, convince myself to change it because I feel it would just cause such a discomfort to me. And a few other little things that are still reminding me of OCD are still there because of OCD. But for the most part, it is completely gone. I don't struggle with it anymore. I'm not miserable because of it anymore or miserable in general. And I know how hard it is to ask for help, especially if you have embarrassing rituals. But it's really, that's the best piece of advice I can offer you is to ask somebody for help in breaking the rituals. For instance, I would have loved if I asked somebody to make sure I don't do this specific component of a ritual or something like that and make sure I stick to it. That would have definitely made it easier and I probably would have gotten over it a lot sooner. Overall, I just hope me talking about the subject and sharing my experience with OCD and how I got over it helps somebody out there come up with a plan or inspires them to ask somebody for help in getting past it and getting rid of it or keeping it under control or something along those lines. So hopefully this helps somebody out there. And uh, yeah, that's it. See ya.